Hello everyone, my name is Corian and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Sabre 37 FLL. This is a very popular front living room design, but we do things a little differently on this model with a storage loft in the rear as well as a giant sleeping loft that you can use either for sleeping like I said or it's great for storage as well. Starting things off in the front, you've got two trifold sofas that pull out into full size beds. It's a memory foam material, very comfortable. Behind me you'll see an electric fireplace that'll heat the entire area nicely if you're hooked up to shoreline power. You've got a big TV, nice accent lighting that works great for movie nights. There's theater seating up here with heat, LED, and massage functions that also fully recline. It's a great space for entertaining. You also get all these windows that flank all around so you're going to get a great view of your campsite. And then these zebra shades are going to work great for combating some of that light on those sunny days so you can completely black it out or you can really control how much or how little light is lit in. And then last thing up here that you'll see is this AC unit. This is a 15K AC unit. We include two of them standard on every Sabre model so you're going to have 30,000 BTUs of air conditioning. It works great in Texas, Arizona, keeping up with those summertime heats. Before we get into the kitchen area, off the entry door, you're going to have this control panel cluster. Right in the middle is the Lippert One control. This is going to control all your lights, slides, awning, as well as your auto leveling system. Then there's a smartphone app that you can connect. It's called the Lippert One control app. That'll connect to your backup camera, give you a nice visual feed of what's going on behind the trailer. Then you'll also have a thermostat down here. There's two thermostats in every trailer for each of the AC units, so you have two separate zones of cooling. There's the voltage meter that comes included with the juice pack. It's a 100 watt solar panel up top that can be expanded up to 500 watts thanks to the 30 amp charge controller that's on board. You also get this voltage meter, like I said, as well as one on the outside to keep an eye on your battery levels. You get one lead acid battery from the factory as well as an option to include another one. There's space for it there as well. Then you have light switches, and then just a switch for your tank heater. So starting things off in the kitchen, it's a very beautiful setup with a lot of countertop space. You have a beautiful wraparound counter. It's 100% acrylic material, so it's heat resistant, as well as scratches will buff out of that material as well. You have a farm style sink with a detachable faucet. It's a nice big sink that you can put big pots and pans into. There's tons of storage. With this storage being a little tall, we've included this step. So you open this door, this step folds right out, and then you can get up here to those taller items. Moving things along, you've got a 30 inch microwave, plenty big for many sizes of plates. Then you have a three burner stove, with the little glass backsplash that pops up. There's also an oven, extra storage built in below. There's tons of storage that's built into the kitchen, as well as this pantry over here, full length pantry with detachable shelves. So you can put broomsticks, vacuum cleaner, maybe stuff like that in there as well if you'd like to. Then you have a very large fridge. This is a 16 cubic foot Everchill fridge that runs off a 12 volt. So it's very power efficient, only draws about 3.5 amps per hour. You have two fridge doors, two freezer drawers, and it looks just like one you would have at home. Next to that is the dinette. So you have two table chairs, then you have a booth on the other side, so you can sit on whatever side you prefer. And then lastly, you just have your breakfast hutch on the other side here. So there's a bonus pantry, a little bit of extra dry goods space, you have the countertop here where you can put a coffee maker, maybe a crock pot, just extra room to get to. Now in the bathroom, you'll see you have a very spacious tub surround with a seat in here. You also have a porcelain toilet that can handle some more aggressive cleaning chemicals. There's a nice big sink, space for a trash can, a bit of linen storage, and a full length medicine cabinet. Then one more feature that's going to be great for the bathroom is going to be our new tankless water heater. It's going to be instant on-demand hot water whenever you need. No more waiting around for the water to get warm enough. Just take a shower whenever. You can take back-to-back -back showers if you've got a large family and you won't run out. Right next to the bathroom before you get to the master bedroom, you're going to have a stairway coming up to these two lofts. The loft on my right hand side is going to be for storage, works great for totes. Smaller children may fit up there, but it is a little more cramped than the main sleeping loft which is on my left hand side here. It's very spacious. I can actually get up here and sit, not hit my head. You can put a king size mattress up here. You can put a couple memory foam toppers. You can use it all for storage. There's shelving built into the back. There's USB ports. There's power hookups up here. There's anything that you would need. Lastly in the interior is the master suite. You're gonna have a nice big king size bed that's supported by struts so you can get to that storage underneath the mattress. Then behind me is gonna be your wardrobe slide. You've got plenty of space in there for all your clothes. Put that sort of stuff away. You've got some shelving built into the middle as well. And then lastly behind me 
is a full length mirror. Behind that full length mirror is going to be your combo washer dryer setup space. We've already got it pre-plumbed and wiring in there so it's easy to install. Okay, so starting things off on the 37 FLL exterior, you've got the front storage compartment where your spare tire is housed. You also have a lead acid battery that's included from the factory and space to add another if you'd like. You've got your battery disconnect there. If you were to set that battery disconnect in the off position, the solar panel would still trickle charge your batteries, keep them topped up. Then you have your voltage meter, as well as a 30 amp charge controller. It's built into one. That'll allow you to expand that 100 watt solar panel up to 500 if you would wish. Then you have two little legs sticking down. That's a part of your auto leveling system. It's a four point electric auto leveling system that also has hitchhike memory. So it's gonna remember where the bed of your truck was when you set up your campsite. And then the little polar bear sticker. That's a very important feature for us. It's our polar shield. It's a fully enclosed underbelly, thermofoil wrapped, fully insulated as well as furnace ducting that blows over the holding tanks, hot air into your underbelly. Then your front cap, your roof are also thermofoil wrapped, fully insulated. If you're planning on camping down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, negative six Celsius, that's where we would recommend skirting the underbelly, taking extra precautions so you don't freeze your water lines. And then a part of that polar package is also the sidewalls and slide boxes. Both are two inches thick and vacuum bonded, so very sturdy, gives you great insulation, low chances of delamination ever occurring to this unit. Then moving along to the front storage area, You've got plenty of space in there to maybe put a small picnic table, put your lawn chairs away. You've got LED lighting that illuminates it at nighttime. Power hookups in there, 110 electric as well as cable. And there's a hole routed through the floor if you were to put a bigger TV outside. You can run the cords through there, put the television on the exterior. Then here at the entry door, you've got the all black glass door. It gives you privacy on the inside, helps keep things a little more cool. It's got the friction hinge mechanism so it's not going to slam open quite so easy on a windy day. You'll also see that our new windows are solar reflective windows. So on the inside, it's gonna keep it very dark and cool. The UV lights will bounce off of it. It looks like a mirror from the exterior. So it works great versus a tinted window. Then below the doors, your Moride stable steps. These steps are very sturdy, safe getting up and in. Your feet pegs are completely adjustable with little push pins. There's also LED lights beneath the threshold that'll light up the steps at nighttime when your awning light is on. Then besides this, you're gonna have your outdoor kitchen. You've got a big fridge over here. You've got sink that's already plumbed in. A little bit of storage as well as LED lighting in here. There's LP Quick Connect down below for an external grill. On our tire system, you've got TPMS, so tire pressure monitoring system. It's a visual check. Green is for ADPSI, you're good to go. If it drops below that, it'll turn yellow. If you're getting really low, it'll turn red. You need to put some more air into those tires. Our axles, 7,000 pound axles, so across the Sabre line you'll notice very large cargo carrying capacity numbers compared to other fifth wheels. And then we'll bring things around to the back. This is one of our models that incorporates the drop frame, so you'll see a little bit of the frame coming down here in the rear where a hitch receiver would normally be. But up top you're going to have a backup camera that's already pre-included. So it's a Lippert backup camera that connects to your smartphone with the One Control app. You're going to get a visual feed of what's going on in that camera on your smartphone. Makes it very easy. Now we'll move things around to the docking station. Right here inside our docking station, you'll see our new Furion tankless water heater. This is going to be on-demand hot water, like I said. You can take showers back-to-back. -back. You're not going to run out of hot water. It's also much more eco-friendly and power efficient. It uses much less LP gas than a traditional water heater would use. And then beside it, that all-in-one docking station, you've got an outdoor shower over here, as well as black tank flush, water connections, your winterizing system, in here as well as cable and then you have a hole routed through the floor if you were to run some cords through there it's an all metal enclosure as well if you get splashed back it'll catch that water not damage your subfloor then you've got some extra space here where you can get to that front storage compartment area that wraps things up with the Sabre 37 FLL like I said this is an amazing front living room design mixed with a bunkhouse so if you've got a family and you love that front living room design that loft is going to be great for having extra space for the kids if you'd like to learn any more information about this model or find a dealer near you, you can visit our website at forestriverinc.com slash saber. Thank you.